season of The Bachelor, and he's here now to give us the inside scoop of his life on and off the show. Please welcome Prince Charming, Prince Farming, Chris Souls. <laughs> Chris, we've had a lot of the past bachelors and bachelorettes in, and I have to say you are by far, this is going to sound so bad for the others, but the most down to earth you really are. Thank you. My Thank gosh, you. you were just as sweet on the show as you are off it. This is really who you are. Yeah, for sure. I mean, some people go on for the fame. Let's I, be honest. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a, a level of that, and I mean, I, I'm I'm a down to earth farmer from Northeast Iowa that uh, had my sisters sign me up for this crazy adventure, <laughs> and I reluctantly uh, decided to go through with it, and it's been incredible. We from saw day a one. lot from your hometown in Arlington because you were so busy as a farmer, and now of course you're doing many other things. You have people tending to the farm when you're not there, mm -hmm. and you're here to spread the good word on Ontario farming. Yeah, I'm here with the uh, the Grain Farmers of Ontario, uh, working with them on the uh, Good in Every Grain campaign, which is a consumer awareness campaign that we're and I'm trying to use the platform that I've been given as a result of being on all these shows to sort of help consumers understand where their food comes from yeah. and learn about farmers like me you know I, I got to visit a grain farm here in Ontario yesterday yeah how'd that go There's it was, it right was there. great yeah Daryl uh, and his family a beautiful family and uh, they're doing a lot of great things in farming and he's a farmer just like me and it was really cool to meet somebody a long ways away from our farm but to see all the similarities that we share and, and uh, had a great day. It's just like, that's a you great know, picture. it is. There's some, Don't that's his son Connor who's awesome. There is a movement, like a farm to table movement yeah. that's come back. It used to be something we talked about, then we kind of lost right. it in way of mass consumption. Yeah. And now everybody's requesting that. This was, was this at, uh, you yeah. also went to Woodlawn yeah. afterwards. Yeah. They're very big on right. the farm to right. table. Right. So do you think the pendulum is swinging where we are demanding and asking to know more now? I, I think so. I think, uh, you know, I think consumers are starting to. Uh, question where their food's coming from and, and have a lot, lot of concerns and I think that there's a lot of misinformation out there that we as farmers need to be more proactive in helping consumers understand where yeah. their co food comes from and it comes from family farms. I mean there's a lot of uh, yeah. misconceptions whether it's, it's coming from a corporate farm or coming from uh, uh, you know thinking of a, a farmer looking like uh, somebody in bib overalls and a, and a straw hat you know <laughs> a lot of people look at me and they're like you don't look like a farmer and I'm my first response is well really what does a farmer look like to you it's a misconception it's much yeah very much mis misconceived and um, it's nice to be able to actually have a platform to speak to uh, a lot more people than we've we've always struggled to speak to consumers we a lot of times as farmers are very humble and go to work every day yeah. and just do a really good job but Putting a face to it is hard because they get lost in the shuffle. Right, right. So good for you for doing that. Yeah. And of course, your face is out there, which helps do that. Absolutely. Talk to us a little bit about where you stand now in terms of love, because I know when I sent out your picture yesterday, the ladies are like, I'd like to be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> are you dating? We know things ended, which was unfortunate right, with you and Whitney. Right. You had found something great. Are you looking? I mean, how does it work when you're Chris Souls and you're doing everything that you do? You know, I'm, uh, I, I'm taking a bit of a break from dating as a result of dating 30 women in two yeah. months and, and going through an engagement and that didn't work out. It's been, uh, I sort of just gotten back to doing what I'm passionate about, focusing on that. Good for you. And, uh, and which is farming and agriculture and then taking the platform that I have, like I've said, uh, and using that to help to give back to an industry that I really care about. Yeah. And, uh, you know, dating will happen. I'm, you know, looking, but just so, sort of focusing on me. And I've been really busy with a lot of really cool projects, this included. And, uh, you know, enjoying life and the experiences that I've had. Dancing we, with the stars. How much? Yeah. <laughs> you, you made it through quite a while. Yeah, like, semi-finals. Way the farther. Fifth? Yeah, I was fifth. From the top. I just beat up Robert Herjavec, who we were just Robert, talking about. Robert, you wise guy. Yeah, you shark buddy. tanker. I love Robert, though. He's such <laughs> a good too. guy. He's huh? a great guy. You have great to guy. clear the rumors. i got to do it about rumor. Rumor Oh, rumors. great friend. Great friend. Great friend. Great friend? Yes. Small f. Quotes? <laughs> Really, just a friend. Yeah, really. Okay, he's great like, no, friend. really, it's just a friend. Great, great friend. She's she's awesome. We had a great time uh, at the game. I, and uh, I mean, she's she's awesome. We we got to know each other through Dancing with the Stars, and then yeah. you know, just uh, have sort of stayed in touch as a result. And, and we look uh, forward to see what you're going to do next. I know you have a cooking show in the works, so check it out, everybody. As well, it's at at Souls Chris on Twitter and Good in Every Grain .ca for more information. You just told me Gretzky just asked you to come to a show. Yeah, tonight. I mean, that's that's my life now. It's yeah, crazy. you're welcome, Chris. I thank you. Magic happens here on BT. I need a date. Are you available? Uh, let me talk to my husband. <laughs> but guess what? There's about 50 hands that went up, including Derek's. So don't worry, we got you covered. <laughs> Coming up next. I just, most, I just, oh, I just, oh, Kevin's free too. I Kevin, just talked to Alex. Free? Alex says, "Go ahead." <laughs> it's okay. Uh, come back anytime. You're absolutely, a sweetheart. Absolutely. The most Thank amazing stuntman on the planet. Check them out at the snowmobile ATV and power.